Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to stream to Twitch using OBS. First, if you don't have OBS, go to obsproject.com, click download OBS Studio, select your operating system, and go and install the file. Next, you're gonna open it up and you should have something that looks like this. You won't have the audio or scenes here. You'll have to set that up separately. I'll probably make another video on setting up your scenes and stuff. Anyway, so what you're gonna do is click on profile and make a new profile. You can name that whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine Twitch. Click OK and go into your settings. The general tab just has some preferences. You can go and change these to whatever you like. Also, you may note that I'm using the dark theme. Um, I just really prefer it. Anyway, so you're going to hit apply and go to the stream tab. So first, make sure your service is on Twitch and then change the server to the closest server to you. So that would be New York. And then you will need to go and get your stream key. The way you get your stream key is go to twitch.tv dashboard. Make sure you're logged into your Twitch account and you should see a screen that looks like this. Click on stream key over here, hit show key, and then hit I understand. And your key will appear here. I have to censor mine so you guys can't stream to my account. But what you're going to do is just highlight the key, control C, go back to OBS, and just control V that stream key in there. And uh, if you want to verify that it's right, you can hit show and uh, just make sure it matches and then hide it again. Next, you're gonna hit apply and go to the output tab. First, go and change the output mode to advanced, then select the audio track that you wanna use. If you don't know which one you wanna use or how to set it up, I will have another video on audio tracks, as I've mentioned before. So just wait for that to come out and uh, in the meantime, just use one. I'm going to go and use four because that's how I have my audio set up. The encoder, we wanna use the X264 encoder. If you want, you can enforce the streaming service encoder settings. It doesn't really matter too much since we're going to make our settings line up with what Twitch requires anyway. But if you want, you can leave that checked or you can uncheck it. It really doesn't matter. Next, you're not going to rescale your output here. You're going to do that in the video tab and we'll get to that in a bit. The rate control, you have to use CBR for live streaming. The bit rate depends on your internet connection. I made a chart about what bit rate you should use depending on your upload speed. To test your internet speed, you're going to go to speedtest.net. Net. There's plenty of internet speed testing sites. I just prefer to use this one and uh, you're just going to hit begin test. Um, I have some of my information censored so you can't see where I live. Once that's done running, all that's important here is your upload speed. As long as it's more than four megabits per second, you can use a bit rate of 3,500. If your upload speed is slower than that, you will have to decrease your bit rate so your internet can handle it. Just pick the upload speed that's closest to yours and look at what bit rate I recommended. You might want to go with an even lower bit rate than that, just so you don't have any connection speed problems, but most people do have an internet higher than four megabits per second nowadays. As you can see, my internet's like 20 times as fast as that. Also, you may have noticed on the chart, I recommended some resolutions. These are just my suggestion. You obviously don't have to listen to them but if you have a lower bit rate it might be a good idea to decrease that resolution a bit you can also stream to other resolutions I really wouldn't recommend going above 720p since switch only allows a max bit rate of 3500 anyway so I'd really just recommend you go with a 720p stream also if you have a slower computer you also might want to go with a lower resolution just so your computer can handle processing the stream and don't set your bit rate any higher than 3500 because twitch only allows a bit rate of 3500 for non-partnered twitch streamers so anyway, since my internet connection is above 4 megabits per second, I can change the bitrate to 3500. You don't need to use a custom buffer size. The keyframe interval Twitch requires a keyframe of 2, and the CPU usage preset, this largely in part determines the quality of your stream. The default is very fast, and for most people I'd recommend leaving it on very fast. However, if you have a faster processor, you can go and lower this a bit. It'll just compress the video a bit nicer and improve the quality. However, it will use a lot more CPU power. So if you don't have a very fast CPU, you might want to use the preset of very fast or even super fast. I wouldn't recommend going with ultra fast because the quality is awful. And I really wouldn't recommend going any lower than like medium. But for most people with a pretty standard processor, I just recommend going with very fast. I'm going to put my preset on faster because I do have a pretty good CPU. But for most people, I just recommend leaving it on very fast. Next, the profile, you want to use main profile. I normally recommend using high profile, but Twitch requires a main profile. Next, you want to leave your tune on none, variable frame rate leave unchecked, 
and X264 options, uh, we don't have any for these settings. Next, we're gonna go to the recording tab. If you wanna record your streams, you can do it here. You don't have to record your streams. In fact, usually I don't record my streams. But some people do, some people like to upload their streams. So you can do that. Uh, first, just select a recording path. I record to a folder called OBS in my D drive. Just hit browse and select a folder there. The recording format, I'd recommend you put an MP4 for the widest compatibility. And again, you get to select what audio tracks you wanna use. I use audio track three. And the reason I use a different audio track for recording than streaming is because I will record to a higher audio bitrate because Twitch only allows a bitrate of 160. So, so I record a different audio track so I can use a higher audio bitrate. The encoder, I'd recommend use the same as stream encoder. This means your computer won't have to process the video twice. However, if you want, you can use NVE and C and just record a not like a much higher quality, but there's really no point since your computer's already processing the video once. I don't see why you want to do it twice, but if you want to do that, it's an option. Next, you're going to hit apply and go to the audio tab, and you just want to leave all your audio tracks on 160. Really, the only track that matters is the track that you used over here, but you might want to just leave them all on 160 to be safe. I'm changing this one to 320 because as I mentioned, I record my audio in a higher bit rate than I stream. So then you're gonna hit apply, go to the audio tab. The sample rate doesn't really matter too much for streaming. I'm gonna change mine to 48 kilohertz anyway because it is slightly better quality, but for streaming, it doesn't really matter too much. So next you're gonna select your desktop audio device. These are the headphones or your speakers, whatever you wanna listen to sounds in. So your stream can have the sounds of your computer, the sounds of your game if you're gaming in the stream. And also you want to select your microphone under mic slash auxiliary. You can select two desktop audio devices and three microphones. I only use one of each so it doesn't really matter but if you have multiple and you want to add them you can. I'd recommend only having two because if you do have like two microphones and you select them both you can have both of them actually appear in the stream and then it'll just be bad because you hear the microphone twice which you can fix in the audio mixer but again that's another tutorial for later so i just recommend selecting the two devices that you're using and for streaming you can only use one audio track anyway so there's not much of a point of having other devices next you go to your video tab your base canvas resolution should be set to your monitor's resolution. If it's not, change it to your monitor's resolution. If you don't know what your monitor's resolution is, just assume it's whatever this was by default. And you're going to change your output scaled resolution to whatever resolution you want to stream in. I stream in 720p and I'd recommend you stream in 720p for an HD quality stream. However, if you go back to the chart I showed you, if you don't have as fast of an internet and are using a lower bit rate, you might want to stream in 480p. You can stream in other resolutions too, like if you have have a 1080p monitor it's really easy to scale to 540p but as I said I strongly recommend the 720p stream which is 1280 by 720 and you will have to choose a downscale filter I'd strongly recommend using this bottom I don't know how to pronounce it I think it's Lanxos it has the best scaling so I just strongly recommend using it it does use a bit more processing power however I really don't notice any performance difference and it definitely does look better now for your frame rate I just recommend leaving it on 30. Uh, you cannot stream to Twitch in 60 FPS unless you're partnered. So just streaming in 30 FPS is just what I'd recommend. You can stream in lower FPS, but I just recommend streaming in 30 because you know it's the smoothest you can get. Next, you're gonna hit apply and go to the hotkeys. You can set hotkeys if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just use the buttons over here. Uh, next, you're gonna go to the advanced tab. So I put my process priority on above normal. I'd strongly recommend you leave it on normal. And the only thing you wanna change on this page is the YUV color space, put that on a 709. It'll give you better colors. There's also some settings down here for a stream delay, auto reconnect, and also some uh, network settings. I just recommend that you don't change any of these and just leave them how they were by default. So there you go, you're done. Hit apply and okay, and you're ready to go and start streaming. So that's it for this video. If you have any tutorials that you want me to make, go and leave them in the comments below. Also, you can leave comments in the comments below. I go and read all of those. This video I did get requests to make. But anyway, other than that, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hello.